Kumasta and welcome to another taste test. Today I'm going to be trying some things from the Philippines. If you're from the Philippines, I know I couldn't get traditional street food, but it's hard to get here in Australia. When, when am I going to get traditional street food in Australia? But this is what I could find. Regent Caramel Corn. I've got the price tag on it. Yeah, it cost me a dollar. How good's that though? I reckon that's a bargain. Probably someone in the Philippines saying, well here they're 20 cents. You've been ripped off. These are crunchy corn snacks with glazed mouth-watering candy. Attractively curly and delish, d delicious. <laughs> That's when something's delicious, but it's also a little bit violent and scary. They're attractively curly. Let's have a look at how attractively curly they are. Would you call that attractively curly? Um, yes. I, I think I would call that attractively curly. So it's light, fluffy, curly, golden goodness snacks. Oh, they smell so sweet. Ah. Yeah. It's pretty good, but it's strange for me eating corn snacks that are sweet. I keep expecting them to be savory, but then there's this whole other experience happening. I'll try another one. Hmm. Hmm. They're quite tasty and Moorish. You could easily devour a packet of these without realizing it. The outside of it just has a slight sugary coating on it, which is the caramel flavor. I don't think I'd necessarily get them again. Oh, they really do smell super sweet. I'm sure a lot of people would really love these. And look, they're only a dollar. Buttercream chocolate crackers. Oh, I've left the price on again. They're $2.20. Price check, they're $2.20. So you get 10 packets in here. You can see the little individually wrapped things. Let's have a look inside. Oh, look at that. I was expecting them to be little half things. I could have seen through the packaging, I know, but that's cheating. Okay, so, oh, look at this. So you get three little sheets in a package. I was not expecting that. Wait a minute, it says chocolate crackers. Buttercream. I was expecting like a cream filling in there, but maybe that's just what the flavor of the actual baked biscuit is, a buttercream flavored biscuit cookie, sorry. So you can see how thin these are. They smell good. You know what they smell like? They kind of smell like Cocoa Pops. You know that breakfast cereal, like a chocolate milkshake, only crunchy? Okay, they're quite nice. They've got a sugar coating on the top of it. It's a chocolate flavor to it, but it's not a really rich, strong chocolate flavor. They're not super sweet. So if you're into super sweet things, you may not like these. I quite like them though. Oh. If you're a coffee or a tea drinker, they go really nice with a cup of tea. Why am I telling you what to put them with? You eat them however you want. It wasn't quite what I was expecting, but I do like them. Clover chips, these are a barbecue flavor. They're corn snacks and, oh, good. It's got some Filipino writing on the top. I'm gonna read it. Okay, so here's is what I'm trying to read. Simut Sarap tal Talagar. I bet I didn't say it right. It says barbecue with vitamins. Oh, these were $2.40, by the way. Why's it got vitamins in it? Oh! bit dramatic, wasn't it? Okay, they just smell like barbecue flavor. I look so scared suddenly, don't I? That's what they look like. They're a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be about that size and they're that size. Not that that really matters. Ooh. They're really nice. And I can't taste any vitamins or weirdness going on there. I actually like these. Yummy. It's got a nice subtle barbecue flavor to it. 
and because of the shape of them they're quite easy to eat which is dangerous really yum see i was a little bit worried about it because it said clover chips and it's got a big picture of a clover and i thought what if it tastes kind of weird and funky what if it has got weird vitamins in it but they're good cupcake these look really interesting look at the color of this thing and i don't know if they're going to be that color inside we're about to find out if i'm going to od on food coloring i got this pack of i don't know how many are in there for $2.95. Real oob goodness now with more cocoa flakes. Okay, so they come individually wrapped. How many are in there? I can't be bothered to count them. Okay, well I've got one in my hand. One, two, three, four, five. So there's 10 of them. Oh, look, no, it's too hard. Oh yeah, there's 10 of them in a pack. <laughs> I made such a drama over counting them. I've got to count it so hard. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wasn't quite what I was expecting. It smells like a cake. So that's the color of it on the packaging and that's the real color of it. It kind of doesn't look perfect, which is interesting. That's the sort of cakes my mum used to make, like that. Actually, a lot of them dipped in the middle too. She wasn't the best baker in the world. She wasn't a baking mum. I wasn't expecting it to have the cupcake paper on it, but it's quite cute that it does. Makes them look homemade. I'm gonna rip this in half so you can see the middle of it. it doesn't feel particularly moist. Oh goodness. It's brightly colored inside, isn't it? There's the picture of it there. Where are the white flecks? What are the white flecks supposed to be? It smells okay. It does actually have coconut in there. You can't see it, but I can feel it because it's all getting attached in the, between my teeth. It does taste nice, but it's a little bit dry. Is it in date? That's a good question, isn't it? Yes, it's in date. It smells quite nice. So it's obviously got some nice vanilla happening in there. I think it is just a vanilla flavored cake with like coloring in it and coconut. It's quite sweet tasting, but a little dry. I could wear that as a perfume, I reckon. It does smell better than it tastes. Time for a beverage break and today I have a Lipa Young Coconut Juice. Bioson de Nux de Coco avec, pu, avec with. This is French, isn't it? Okay, so we've got some French happening on the cover there. Let's pull this out and have a look at it. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be fairly straightforward coconut looking juice stuff. Uh-oh. What's that? There are floaties in there. All right, well, usually when there's floaties in a drink, I don't drink it. Oh, <laughs> I'm reading the French going, oh, look, I understand the avec is with, but I didn't read the with cocoa bits. Yeah, there's floaties in there. I don't know if you can see them. Cheers. Right. I'm so scared of getting a floaty bit, but I've got to get one to taste test it properly. Come here. It's like fishing in my glass. Am I not drinking properly or something? I can't get one. I never thought I'd be drinking a drink and saying, hang on, I'm trying to get the floaty bits in it. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Why can't I get a floaty bit? Maybe this time, wish me luck everyone. Say good luck time, I hope you get a floaty bit. Now they've all run across to the other side of the glass, come on. So they move across to the other side of the glass as soon as I tip it up. Maybe I've actually drank some and I don't even realize because maybe they just melt in your mouth like magic. It is quite sweet tasting, it's not bad. I would actually kind of like a little bit of ice in this. Okay, I just got a floaty bit and um, mm, I don't know. It doesn't taste too bad. It was just strange to get over the initial, oh, I'm having a floaty bit in my drink because it's like someone's, I don't know, done something bad to your drink and then said, here, I've, I've 
backwashed a little bit but you have it now it is actually nice and I don't mind the little bits in it when you get them they're quite tasty mm. but every time I get one I go <laughs> get over it would I get it again I don't know if I got it again I'd put it in a fancy glass like that actually it's pretty good I like it I've come around now and I actually do like it cheese balls did I sound strange when I said balls? I feel like I did. Balls. Balls. Cheese balls. Savory snacks again, so I feel like I'm going to like these. Got some strange looking characters on the front there. What's that kid got in his mouth? Maybe that's his tongue. Well, it's not a cheese ball because it's not round. Maybe it's a cigar. It's got some French on the front of it. I'm used Gouleurs au fromage. Oh man, these are made in Malaysia. Let's try them anyway. Sorry about that, but the taste test just continues on. If you make mistakes, you just keep going. Oh, gosh. Okay, so they're brightly colored cheese balls. Brightly colored balls. I have a feeling I'm gonna like these. I also have a feeling they're gonna stain my hand. they're okay I'm not absolutely wrapped in them which I love salty snacks but I'm not a huge fan of these something tastes a little bit weird about them like they've got a little bit of a sweet note to it maybe it's me maybe it's the coconut juice doing it to me they're not as salty as I thought they were going to be and I keep eating them I definitely eat them. I don't know if I'd necessarily get them again though. I expect cheese balls to be like really salty and really cheesy, you know, so that at the end I'm like going, oh my gosh, I need to drink so badly. Where's my floaty coconut juice? Toasted wheat cakes. These are purple yam flavor. Pole of Von U, product of the Philippines. Ooh. They look. They, oh. I like the way it's packaged. <gasps> what is this? Oh, it smells really sweet. It smells a little bit like one of those cupcakes I had. Oh, sorry. I knocked my glass and I scared myself. Yeah, they smell similar. Smell them. <laughs> I wish you could smell them because then you could tell me if they smelt similar. So this is a really strange dry powdery stuff. Let's taste it. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow. This is so bizarre. It's really dry and powdery. You can see how it just flakes off like that. Hence, when I tried to eat it, it was like it was putting up a little bit of a fight. You put it in your mouth and your mouth instantly feels like it's sort of sticking together and it gets all over, the, over your teeth and it's a bit of a mess to eat, but it's an interesting flavor to it. It is sweet. It reminds me of malt a little bit, like a powdery, floury malt but it has a nice sweet taste to it. I actually really like the smell of it. Just let's sit here and you can watch me smell this for 20 minutes because that should be an entertaining video, shouldn't it? If you're in the Philippines, let me know if this is actually really popular. It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, wow. These are crazy interesting. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Please remember to give this video the thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.